Buongiorno da Vittorio Veneto. Welcome to Vittorio Veneto. Here we are in the former municipality of Ceneda. You can see the Battle of Vittorio Veneto Museum behind me. Vittorio Veneto is world famous because the final act of World War I took place here. To all Italians, this is the city of victory, made famous by the Battle of Vittorio Veneto. Di Vittorio Veneto, che l'ha resa famosa. Ma Vittorio Veneto non è soltanto questo. Vittorio Veneto. Vittorio Veneto is more than just this, however. It's a city rich in history, culture, heritage, art, and special traditions. È una città che nel corso dei secoli si è costituita. Over centuries, the city grew up around two centers. One is the municipality of Ceneda, where we are now. And the other one is Serravalle, which lies at the foot of the mountains to the north. The two municipalities merged in 1866. Initially, the city was given the name of Vittorio, in honor of Italy's first king, Vittorio Emanuele. In later years, the term Veneto was added. And now the city is known as Vittorio Veneto. Vittorio Veneto come oggi è conosciuta. La città quindi è una città che si presenta. The city has several centers, several squares, and one main thoroughfare, Viale della Vittoria. This particular thoroughfare links the two formerly separate villages together and is lined with handsome villas in Liberty style that date back to the period of Italian unification and give the city its particular style and charm. One of these villas in Liberty style, Villa Croze, now hosts the medieval and modern art museum. Vittorio Veneto is rich in art and is therefore rich in museums. The Battle of Vittorio Veneto Museum behind me is only one of them. The city's other museums are dedicated to ancient art, modern art, sacred art and arts and crafts, including, for instance, the Silkworm Museum. The city is full of heritage, architecture, art and sheer beauty, so it's definitely worth a visit. Artistiche, paesaggistiche. Voglio ricordare anche le chiese importanti che noi abbiamo, che contengono... It also vaults a cathedral and a number of prestigious churches, hosting authentic masterpieces. The Church of Santa Maria del Meschio, hosts one of the finest examples of Renaissance art in the Veneto region, the altarpiece by Andrea Previtali depicting the Annunciation. The Church of Santa Maria Nuova in Serravalle holds another extraordinary altarpiece by the great Tiziano Vecelli, also known as the Titian. The Battle of Vittorio Veneto Museum behind me is inside the former municipality of Ceneda City Hall. This historic building has been ascribed to the great architect Jacopo Sansovino, one of the masters of Italian Renaissance. The outer loggia was frescoed by Pomponio Malteo, Giovanni de Min did all the frescoes inside the main hall in the 19th century. The Battle Museum was graciously restored and completely reshaped from 2012 to 2014. The view in itinerary was completely redesigned to cater for the needs of modern visitors. It has become a very modern museum with three different levels. Allestitivo, espositivo all'interno. E creando quindi ehm, un museo molto moderno dal punto di vista della eh, fruizione, perché permette di percorrere su tre livelli diversi. The first takes you inside a trench, which we shall see shortly. 
The second shows the city's occupation by enemy forces. The third level, on the museum's top floor, presents the Battle of Vittorio Veneto and its myth, and hosts the collection of Luigi Marson, one of the famous Boys of 99, the last class of conscripts born in 1899, who were sent to the front while they were turning 18 in a desperate attempt to win the final battle. When the war was over, Luigi Marson, who later became a doctor, began collecting every item and relic he could find. Firearms, artillery shards, helmets, photographs, frayed uniforms, and letters the boys wrote to their loved ones from the front. Dr. Marson later donated his collection to the city of Vittorio Veneto so that the horrors of the First World War would never be forgotten. This was how the Battle of Vittorio Veneto Museum began, starting from a collection of artifacts put together by someone who had actually fought in the Great War a testimony of the times, the museum has become part of the local heritage and its recent renovation allows it to provide a detailed emotional immersion. Here we are inside the Battle Museum. Specifically, this is where the emotional impact might be most intense, the reconstruction of a trench. You can walk through it, hearing the sounds the soldiers heard. You can feel the shaking under your feet from bombs exploding nearby. It gives you a sharper idea of what these boys went through. Ehm, abbastanza precisa di quello che potevano vivere i soldati in quella drammatica situazione. From the trench you go up to the museum's first floor, which provides a representation of the city in the terrible year of 1917-1918. To this day, that year is still referred to as the year of the hunger. The city was under occupation, and as many as 15 different languages were spoken in its streets. But not by men, of course. All the men were at the front. The city was populated only by the elderly, the infirm, women and children trying to lead their lives in conditions that people would hardly even realize today. The museum attempts to reconstruct it all through photos and documents of daily life from Vittorio Veneto and especially from Serravalle, now preserved in glass cases and drawers. You get the feel of entering an occupied city and its homes. Opening these drawers makes you see more clearly the difficulty these people had to face. della città occupata di allora all'interno di quelle case e aprendo questi cassetti scoprire quella che era la difficoltà incredibile dell'esistenza di allora. Qui siamo sempre al primo piano del Museo della Battaglia Still on the first floor. The Marson Armory Room contains the arms this 1899 boy soldier collected. These weapons, from different armies, testify to his passion for collection. On the top floor now, the restoration done from 2012 to 2014 was intended to maintain the museum's original purpose of preserving the artifacts collected. Quindi con un percorso che a secondi quella che era stata la iniziale volontà di raccogliere questi cimeli. Here, in the Room of Heroes, the names of our fellow citizens who died in combat can be seen behind me. This particular room holds what some might consider the museum's most significant relic in spite of its insignificant material value. 
It is a small rosary, a rosary that young Luigi Merson took from the hand of a Hungarian soldier lying dead on the battlefield. Merson would later relate that this item inspired the search he would make for the rest of his life and his fervent desire that future generations would learn and never forget what happened in Vittorio Veneto. Il, il desiderio e aveva messo in lui quella volontà di raccogliere per testimoniare, per non far dimenticare. All'interno di questa sala vedete alle mie spalle una bacheca in vetro di Murano. This display case in Murano glass holds the flags of some of the armies that fought in the First World War. Qui siamo nella sala più importante del Museo della Battaglia. This is the museum's most important room. It once was the meeting room of the Ceneda City Hall. Recent renovation enables its use for conferences and other activities. di rappresentanza come sede di conferenze ed altre attività. La cosa straordinaria di questa sala Its most extraordinary features are the frescoes on the wall. These were done by perhaps one of the most renowned fresco painters in the first half of the 19th century. His name was Giovanni de Min. He was highly esteemed as an artist also by the world famous sculptor Antonio Canova. The means frescoes combine a reinterpretation of the classical and neoclassical styles in fashion at the time with Veneta painting tradition from the 16th to the 18th century. They also depict some of the most important moments in the history of Ceneda. Una serie di scene che riguardano i momenti salienti più importanti della storia di Ceneda. L'aspetto interessante di questo salone è determinato anche da un soffitto sul quale ci sono eh, c'è un percorso di stemmi di Another important aspect of this room is its ceiling with the emblems of all the bishops of Ceneda the two most important of which are that of Bishop Lorenzo da Ponte the first and Bishop Albino Luciani who later became Pope John Paul the first